Holy cow. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week, I'm in Antwerp, Belgium, and I'm not completely sure how I got here, but my good buddy and international car hunter, J.P. Vandybunt, asked me to come along on one of his whirlwind trips to Europe to check out some great car collections and maybe some potential buys. I'm not exactly sure where this is gonna go, but it's gonna be a crazy trip. Hey, Dennis, let's go, let's do this. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be a wild and woolly ride. And speaking of woolly, we'll see how long this stash stays curled. Let's roll. Welcome to Belgium. Yeah, well, what a way to arrive. <laughs> Antwerp is a great city. From what I've seen so far, and a uh, pretty nice ride too. Yeah. What is this? Suitable. This is well, 600 Mercedes. A 600, yeah, but it's a stretch. It's a, it's a factory limo, one of very, very few built. I've never seen one. I mean, this baby is rare. I believe this was uh, used by some African emperor. <laughs> So, uh, next stop is, uh, is is your friend's collection? Yeah, it's my friend's collection. Uh, it's, a, it's got some real hidden gems. Well, I'm looking forward to that. So we're close, eh? Hey? Yeah, we're close. Can't wait. Hey, man. Hey, yo, bro. What's happening? Good How's to see life? you. Good to see you. Yeah, good. Hi, Prima. I'm Alexander. This is Dennis. my friend Alexander. Hi, nice place you got here. I would never have known this is here. I mean, this is... Well, that's, that's the funny thing. If you, if you, this is right in the city center. This, you will never expect I, a place like this here. Huh? It's a little entrance only. And it's underneath a big building which I developed and I kept this for myself. Sorry, man. I got to run. I, I got a thousand things I still kind of have to put together for this thing. Wait, but I thought you had this all. Uh, well, I got it thought out, but I, yeah, I've got to work on some more logistics, so... Get, get out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> that's, how, that's how it usually works. So. Usually works. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Alexander, all I can say is, wow. <laughs> Alexander, uh, I mean, you have so much wonderful stuff here, but this is an all-time favorite car of mine, the Monteverdi. This is a 375S, is that correct? It's 375S. They made five of them, four still exist. Jay Leno has one of them, I think. Yeah, that's right. And, and what year is this? This is, this is 1969. 69. This is 7.6 liter. Which is a, which is a Chrysler big block 440. It's a that's 440. the other thing that people don't realize. That yeah. was powered yeah. by a Chrysler engine from yeah. the beginning. Yeah, exactly. That's it. That makes it very special. Uh, and, yeah. and I think this is really a fantastic it, car. Incredibly beautiful. And this is, an, I mean, this is another Monteverde. Well, yeah, they made, they made a four-door as well. The four-door is... Also very rare. And, and also very fast. Very fast. But you Those have other really impressive, really fast cars. Uh, only fast cars. We go for the cubic inches here. This, this is a wild car and I'm not even sure what it is. What is this? It is a bitter. It a, is another a bitter? A bitter handmade uh, German sports car. Very fast car and a very beautiful shape as well. And if you look at this, this really stands out in the crowd. And speaking of standing out in the crowd, this baby over here is pretty distinctive. An Iso Grifo, right? This is another very rare car, Iso Grifo. Um, a very famous car back in that then. They made a seven liter engine, which was the fastest car on the road back then. It went over 300 kilometers. I love that car. The Bizzurini is one of the nicest 60s sports cars. It has a Chevy 327 engine. What year? In 1963. Uh, what a difference. Huh? Look at the height. I yeah. mean, it's an incredible car. Everything on this car is right. This is one of the ultimate cars. Yeah. Alexander, this is a unique car. What, what do we have here? Everybody knows the Pantera. This yeah, is a yeah. Tito Masso Longchamp. I think about 10 convertibles were made. And what and year? It is 1985 and it has a 7-liter uh, Ford engine. In. So, you know, Tito Masso certainly, as you say, known for the Pantera. There's this. But another really interesting car, the Mangusta here. This yeah, the Mangusta is uh, fantastic. Uh, that was actually the first one. They had a Valadunga before. 
but this has the 289 or 302 Ford engine in. Looks um, like a Pantera, but it's got some distinct differences. Yeah, one of the distinct differences is uh, the back of the car. My, uh, it's uh, one of my son's uh, favorite uh, cars. It has like a wasp kind of yeah. opening. Oh. So Ooh. this is to get by the engine. It's a very nice shape. It is a little bit smaller as Pantera, and for a bigger guy like me, it's also not so easy. It probably fits Sebastian perfectly. He would be. Uh, he, l he would like to have it when he gets 18, so he has to wait a little bit <laughs> to drive to school. Hey, it's worth the wait, Sebastian. Let's see what else you got. Uh, Alexander, these are a couple cars that I did not know existed. This is an AC. It's an AC 428 Fruya. It was uh, the replacement of the AC Cobra, so that's why they used the same chassis, a little bit longer, and they made this model. It was very expensive because they had to send it to Italy to do bodywork, mm -hmm. etc. They sold uh, 29 convertibles and 51 coupes. We have the coupe there too. If in, in when, and there's a 7 year? liter 429 uh, between. 67 and 73. Is it a great driving car? Great, Incredibly fantastic. powerful? It, incredibly powerful, sure. It's, it's a 428 a, Cobra Jet. A 4, 428 Cobra Jet, so it's very fast and, and it's still uh, not too glossy. It's, it's a great car, great, <laughs> great shape. We, you, I mean, I could spend all day, I could spend several days here and then you've got two or three other places. This is an unbelievable collection, Alexander. Thank you, you so much. You stay here in Europe. It's, oh. not, uh, it's, it's a good place it's, to be. It's a good place to be. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> Now we're in the Netherlands, in The yes. Hague, at the Laumann the Laumann Museum. Laumann Museum. This International fame, it is an incredible place. I've heard of it, but I, I, I mean, the, bu the building alone is stunning. Oh yeah, they, they actually designed the building with the collection in mind. Right? Which uh, usually is the other way around, yeah. right? Spectacular from the outside, I hear it's great from the inside. Let's oh, check yeah. it out. All right, let's All right, go. Man. This is amazing, man. Well, Ronald, you are, you are the managing director here, right? Yeah, that's correct. Well, JP and I were just outside. And, I mean, it's amazing from outside, but then we came into yeah, this. Yeah. Even, the cathedral, yeah. the, the, yeah. this is just, yeah. it's magnificent. Yeah. This looks like a little Dutch village or something. Well, these are actual fronts of houses. They're not reproductions. So they're brought in. This is real. <laughs> yeah. What an amazing building architecturally, and what an amazing collection. Yeah. Yeah, it is built by an, an, uh, designed by an American architect, Michael Graves, and it is really a statement. We love cars, and it's, <laughs> it's a love to the automobile. So, what we like to do here is uh, give home to an important old collection, one of the oldest private collections in the world, and we would like to give a sort of overview of the whole motor industry from the beginning, from the carriages until Formula One cars from a couple of years ago. So and then, how many how many cars in the collection overall? There are 250 cars in the collection. And we have different teams from different periods uh, with race cars, motor industry, even art. It's quite a lot. And it's also the maximum. As you said, it's about, about a, a mile or so. Yeah, if you, if you do the whole tour, it's a, it's a one way tour, so oh, you can't miss anything. Oh, we're doing and the whole it, tour. It, it's <laughs> almost one mile, so we have we good shoes. Yeah, good okay. shoes, uh, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're both healthy. Uh, yeah, let's <laughs> do it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Enjoy. All right. Ronald, hartstikke bedankt voor de invitatie. Ja. We gaan ons amuseren op ja. zeker. Van maak je. Dit is een proper Dutch. <laughs> Couldn't prove it by me. Yeah, okay. Let's go. We'll okay. subtitle it. Okay. Don't worry. Bye. This is totally Batman. This is Batman. <laughs> it is totally Batman. These amphicars are pretty cool. Uh, this brings back some real special memories for me. This is cool. It's a boat. It's a car, it's a plane. It's a little bit of everything. <laughs> but I don't think you, it's not an amphi car that you can actually get into the water with. <laughs> well, you could. I don't you want to attempt it, but, but it's it going to sink. Like a stone. Like right? a brick. And yeah. I don't think it actually flies either, but it, it no. looks like it could. Very nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a machine. This is. Mercedes SSK, right? All seven liters of it. Wow. It looks unrestored. That's all original. I bet that's really a thrill to drive. It's gotta be. It gotta be a handful too. <laughs> this has gotta be one of the craziest cars in the collection. 
<laughs> Sometimes people say, well, this is an animal. Well, this is an animal. <laughs> well, it's a bird, but that works. So this is the swan car. Some Maharaja of India owned this or something? Actually, it was a Scottish guy in, in, that lived in Calcutta that wanted to oh, shock really? people. Well, it's pretty and shocking. And later on, it was sold to a Maharaja there. But it, it, it does all sorts of crazy things. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. It's, it's got a steam coming out the front to make way <laughs> if people are in the way. Uh, there's some chalk that you can let loose in the back uh, just to, <laughs> to make it more realistic about uh, you know, a, having to do its, its business. Uh, there is a, a, a an, organ, an organ. Oh, and I love the little, there's a little dial back there. It says, what, go left, go right, go home. You didn't have to talk to the driver. You yeah, just yeah, signaled yeah, them, right? Yeah, you just want to just push the button. This is you know? crazy. Oh, yeah. hey, look, even a baby swan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that could follow. Uh, oh, how nice. <laughs> What a view this would be, man. Oh, man. Wow, so this is like the Spiker display? Spiker is actually a Dutch company. Most people think of the modern the, sports yeah, car, the new super which car, is yeah. a cool car, but, but this these is... are the original and the very, very rare cars, the well-built cars. And to see this many <laughs> in one room is and incredible. This is a cool display. Oh yeah, look at this. These are the original doors of the factory. Of the factory. plant? Well, in, and up there, 1898, that's, that's, the, that's the that's origin of the company? Started. Man. And they did planes as well. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. There's wow factory there's in lot, every corner. There's yeah. a lot of wow here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of wow. JP, that was unbelievable. <laughs> so cool. I can only imagine what you have in store next. Can you? <laughs> yeah, probably not. Let's, <laughs> let's go find yeah, out. Let's do it. <laughs> So this is another one of your classic car dealer buddies here in the Netherlands? That's right, Dennis. <laughs> man, he's got it going on. Oh man, he's into it. Big time. <laughs> These little abarts crack me up. Oh yeah. Man, they're tiny little cars. Yeah. It's a Zagato body, right? Yeah, Zagato, Man, right. it looks like so much fun. Maserati, how cool would that be? Yeah. <laughs> I want all of them. I want every one of them. Ooh, a couple of AMXs. Nice oh, little yeah. muscle car. Yeah, Underrated yeah, yeah. muscle car. Oh, and that's right. Three nineties in them. And a Studi, a '55 President Speedster, near and dear to my heart. I've always wanted one of these. Well, here's your chance. I feel so regal in this chair. I think I've only seen like one Simca, and there's one, two, three, yeah. there's six of them. There's a whole row of them. Man, it's like I'm swimming in a sea of cars. Wait, wait, we're in the Netherlands. It's a canal of cars. I'm swimming in a canal of cars. <laughs> we have lakes. I think okay, it's so more like, like a big it's, lake. It's amazing. There's, there's gotta be yeah. 200 cars packed in here. And I mean, packed in here. I think I could get a business card between the plate <laughs> and the rear bumper. <laughs> Not a figure, maybe my business card. There's everything from Packards. This one looks like it's been done. Good color too. To Datsuns, to Porsches, Porsches to Mercedes. Nice little uh, 190. I don't know if I've ever seen one in this color. Is that, is that original? It's a, it, it could be. You know, they did come in all kinds of colors. It's very cool. Can we, can we yeah, get let's check it out and see if it's got the original Solex carburetors. They usually get replaced. No, well, that looks well, like... Uh, that looks like the original carburetors there. That's good. You know, these are nice little cars. They are taking off in value though a bit. Oh, gee, not funny anymore. But, but, but still, compared to the 300, this is, you know, it's affordable. It's got the same lines as just the baby brother. Yes, but the baby can't really walk like the other ones. <laughs> but the baby can walk, it just can't run. <laughs> That's what I mean. I've always dug these Austin Healy's. What yes, they're nice. Oh, check out this Rolls, ah, man. Rolls Royce. And it's still got bugs on the windshield. Yes. <laughs> so it's been that's used. the extra patina. And, and look on, on the on light. The, on, and what a weird body, though. I mean, this is uh, not only a boat tail, it, it looks like a boat. It looks to be somebody's custom body, but it's definitely inspired by the Barker coach works because of the wings and, and especially kind this of the accessory airfoil. thing yeah, yeah, yeah. is really typical for Barker. It's, it's crazy. You know, so. So as, as a dealer, you seen anything here that's like... Uh, I, I like this if you the do? price is right. <laughs> hey, uh, you know. It always comes down to, is the price right, right? That's right. <laughs> the, you know, the, the, the profit is when you buy them, not when you sell them. So 
Oh, check that out. So, JP, I know you got business to do with Yoke. You may buy some, you yeah, may sell yeah. some. I think I have some things in mind I want but, to make an offer on. And I'm sure I can entertain myself. So if you need to get down to business. I think you can manage? I, I think I can. <laughs> Let's right. do it. We'll see you in a few, man. All right, you got it, Dennis. Take it later. So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage. Happy motoring. See ya. <laughs>